Welcome to the Retro Craptacular Podcast, where each month we continue <laughs> our search for the best movies, bad movies. I'm sick. <laughs> you sound terrible. <laughs> it's not. It's like it's you prepared not to start good. saying that and then just. Oh, I got to do the Retro Craptacular. <laughs> <laughs> just sound it off. <laughs> Look, oh. it's really cold outside, okay? It's so cold. Yeah, I don't know where, where you are, listener, but winter is hitting us. And if you're in another part of Canada, I don't want to hear it, okay? Shut it. I know it's colder where you are. That's why we don't live there. Because it sucks. It sucks here. It's only it's like, it's like probably not even below zero here. No, it's And like it's still four, I think. way too cold. It's too cold. <laughs> it's way too cold. People here are wusses, though. I don't... It's true. I guess. Like, I, I'm fine with that. Like, I... That's not a it's not a good temperature for me. <laughs> Anyways, how are you, man? <laughs> well, sick. Yeah. Like you. See, I blame it on shaving my beard. Cuz as yeah. soon as I, I I like it is cold. I have not been like completely clean shaven probably in like 3 years. Mm-hmm. Like all the way down to the skin and like I stepped outside and I'm like holy shit balls, it's cold outside. Yeah. And so, I don't know, maybe that's why I got sick. I'm blaming my sickness <clears throat> also on you shaving your beard. Yeah. Because. It's grody. It doesn't it's, look for, good. it's for a good cause, though. Doing the Movember thing, raising some money, uh, some folks at work. We're all doing it together, so, you know. How do you actually raise money with Movember? Uh, there's the Movember uh, Foundation uh, has a website, and you sign up, and people can donate on there and then uh what they do is they distribute funds to various different charities uh so they support men's mental health uh prostate cancer testicular cancer and um there's another one and and they divide it up to like a number of different different charities that each um, do research and and raise awareness for that sort of thing so they they're mostly about raising awareness and then they distribute the funds to other other charities like that so it's good. Sorry, it's I good. got the mental image yeah. of, of <laughs> Toby from The Office, that gross, <laughs> walrusy, stringy thing, and leaning over just like some stranger <laughs> woman. Smile if you like men's prostates. <laughs> just not something you say to someone. Uh, no. Even if you know them, probably no. just don't say yeah. that. No, not but at all. Stranger on the street. With, I think she was with a child, too. Yeah, she did. Just, she did have a small child with her. But uh. it's funny because actually my one of my coworkers looks a lot like Tobias Funke <laughs> now that now that he's growing his mustache. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So he's got his this Halloween good look Halloween costume figured out for next year for right, sure. There we go. Yeah, you know that's been good, but it's been it's it's fine to stay. It's it's cold outside, so I stay inside and I watch a lot of stuff. Mm. I've been catching up on all of my. Media stuff. I don't know. I watched all of Stranger Things in yeah, like one weekend. Of course. So for for good, me, right? it, was, it was two days. Yeah. Like, Stranger Things came out, but I hadn't finished rewatching Stranger Things season one, which I was mm. doing with Mackenzie, my wife. Yes, yes. So we watched actually like the last two episodes of season one and then made dinner and then watched, I think, three or four episodes of season two and then watched the rest of it the next night. It was just, that's not the kind of show you peace out throughout the week as far as i'm concerned that's like, no you, you need to keep going you get it all especially if you are on the internet in any way like people assume that you have watched all of it and will spoil it. be talking about it right you know so you kind of want to get there's about a two to three day like grace period where they'll be like spoilers for stranger things too and then after that it's just it's like, it's fair at. game it's fair game yeah so i mean i was Unable to watch on the Friday when oh hi dog <laughs> on the <laughs> Friday when when it came out because at work and then a friend of ours was playing a show in Vancouver uh, Jenny All right yeah when saw her show so I was like Stranger Things two <laughs> it's there it's just sitting there and I can't I can't get at it so then Saturday morning I just woke up whipped up some egos yeah. Actually, they were like Western Family brand oh, frozen okay. waffles. Yeah, but yeah, so they're, they're cheaper. Yeah, that makes sense. They're way cheaper. Do yeah. they taste the same? It's been too long since I had them. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, I bought like the whole wheat ones. Oh, got to be you know healthier. <laughs> um, good for you. Because yeah. I'm the gonna whole wheat smother frozen. them in syrup and coconut whipped cream and 
fruit and just jam oh, it yeah. in my face in about 40 seconds. That's just probably the best way to have them. Yeah. The no, fruit. It's, it's good. Okay, I'm agreeing. And just an ungodly amount of syrup. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, no. And They're really dry. <laughs> so. It was good. But this, yeah, this season was so, so good. Yeah. I loved all the. I went as Billy for Halloween. Yeah, so I saw, saw the I saw yeah. the picture. Yeah. It was. I fantastic. think I think I tweeted that picture out. Uh, it, it should be out there, but uh, it was really well done. It was so good, and yeah, I love the new characters. I thought were great. Oh, freaking Sean Astin! Yeah, freaking Sean Astin! As, when I, I when I saw him, I didn't recognize him at first, just because it's a. It's been a really long time since I've seen Lord of the Rings. Mm. But then, just like I think it was. The third, the third episode maybe that I was like, wait a minute, because over the I never ever actually, I've I've seen season one, um, twice now and watched season two. I've never once skipped the intro. Oh yeah, because I just love it. The soundtrack is one of my favorite things about that show. Soundtrack's so good. It's amazing. Yeah. I I just yeah, I'm thrilled about it. But yeah, I saw the name Sean Astin and I was just like, wait, why do I recognize that so much? That's so familiar. And then it was like there was something that he said. There's something. The way he phrased one word specifically that I was like, oh my gosh, it's Samwise. Yeah, yeah. No, he was, I thought he was going to be bad. Like. Well, because of the way he was like talking to Will? Like or? a bad bloke. Like not. Oh, not, not like a bad influence. Yeah. Like I thought, I'm like, oh man, I wonder if he's like an undercover like government agent. Like trying to get close to the buyers. He's like a plant where it's like your job is to get close to them and find out how much they know and. You know, monitor the situation, but no, he's just he works at Radio Shack. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently his his character was actually supposed to be like really small, like he was supposed to have a very small part at first. Mm. But then, but then they got Sean Astin, and they were just like, "Oh, this guy's so lovable. We yeah. definitely need more." And then, did you watch the after show too? I haven't seen I haven't seen all of them. Okay, like the Beyond Stranger yeah. Things series. It's good. I haven't, I haven't good. seen all of them yet, but uh, I was suspicious of everyone though. Like I was like. Uh, Legit, you don't know who Max, is. Max and Billy, uh, when they just roll up from California, I'm like, what are these guys doing? What are they doing in Illinois? Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. Or Indiana, which are or, Indiana, yeah, 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 area, Indiana. I'm like, what are they doing all the way out here? Huh? Up in the Midwest, there's a bunch of, bunch of California kids. What are they? They must be government. They must be government <laughs> plants. Obviously, government. Look, plants. That, 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 that was it? that was my whole thing. I was like, oh man. And then they're talking about like, look, I I don't like you. You don't like me, but we're stuck with each other. I was like, why are they stuck with each other? Because they're partners? Because they're forced to work together? Because they're <laughs> undercover? And then none of that Not even turned close. out to be true. No. But I, it's just bad family life. Yeah. Uh, it's so good, though. My favorite part was definitely the, the whole Dustin and uh, and Steve oh, bit. Yes. What a what a pairing. That was the best episode. And and, oh, and I love how it happens where friendship. it's just like Dustin just like can't get a hold of anyone to help him. Yeah. And then... And then Steve's just there, and it's just like grabs the flowers out of his hands. <laughs> That's so great. Are those for Mr. and Mrs. Wheeler? Nope. Great. Then come here. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It was, yeah, it's so good. Um, Twenty thumbs up. I love it so much. Yeah, I can't wait. It's like the it's the best thing on TV or Netflix or whatever. It's, yeah, I was I was trying to think about it. Like, what what show do I like as much? If if even more than this, and I was having a really hard time. Like I think this is one of my favorite shows ever. That Absolutely, I've ever seen. like I also rewatched the first season, and it had been a while since I'd seen it, and I was like just as invested right in it as I was the first time around. It's like it's, the the mystery is is gone because you we already yeah. seen it, so you know what's going to happen. But it's still just as compelling, and you're just as connected to the characters. Oh, the characters! They yeah. do such a good job. The characters are awesome. The kids are so good, and uh, which is so rare. Yes, to have kids that good. I mean, like, yeah, they are still kids. There's the the but, main the main they, kid. They're Mike. incredible. I'm a little bit worried that that actor might go like a bit like Corey Feldman and like <laughs> oh burning star. You know, burns too bright. Yeah fizzled out because he was in it and he was like oh he was an it he was an it and he was like the wise kraken like loud mouth like big personality kid and he's like been on like the lip sync battle oh. show and stuff and like yeah and i'm like oh i really hope you don't become cory feldman but i think there's a lot of things that contributed to cory feldman being cory feldman a, a lot of which have to do with michael jackson being a weirdo hmm. so <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah, so right. hopefully that doesn't happen to him because I like him. I think he's a good kid. Uh, but Dustin, Dustin's where it's at. Oh my gosh! 
He's he's the champ. And right? He's got teeth now. I'm so happy for him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that, that that wasn't scripted. That was his idea. Yeah, that, that was he the actor doing idea. it. It's amazing. Like that's terrible. Keep doing it. Oh yeah, uh, he's oh gosh, yeah, he's yeah. fantastic. That's good. Oh, what a good show. You know what's not a good show? Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe you like. Have you been watching Star Trek Discovery? No, I haven't. I haven't. I yeah, don't bother. Yeah, I think my dad started watching it because my dad, well, like, was oh your dad's a like... Trekkie when Trekkies were invented. Yeah, right. Trekker. Is he a trekker? Trekker. I don't know. Some of them prefer to be called trekkers. I don't. I don't. You know what? He. I'll ask him. He's got a fan. He's got a fan club ID card. Yes. (laughs) And at one point, did actually own like a a uniform. Oh, good lord! Seriously, is there photos of that? I need that. I I need to see that. I don't have any photos. What age are we talking? Like Um, adult or? Yeah, like I was alive. Oh my god! (laughs) But uh, he. Yeah, he might have he might have been too big for it already when I was alive. His his pop belly came in pretty quick. I don't remember him not having a pop belly. <laughs> well, he did. I'm 25. He, he does own the VHS Next Generation board game, which we have played multiple times, yes, that's and it's right. amazing. The VH, VHS interactive board game is phenomenal, <laughs> and also the Klingon dictionary. Yes, which we have read probably more of than any human being on the planet should have. Well, for, as kids. Yeah, as kids, yeah. <laughs> like, there are people who actually speak it, and, like, can't you, like, isn't there some schools you can, you can major, like, major in it? In it? Yeah. Yeah. Baffling, yeah. Like, I remember baffling. playing playing Star Trek and being like, oh, man, let's pull out the Klingon dictionary, look at some Klingon words, <laughs> just to make this Klingon scene way more authentic. Yeah. Ugh. Well, we were weird. Yeah. Well, and yet... Not as weird as my dad. Not as weird as your dad. Anyway, point being... What a gem. I asked him if he'd seen it, and he's like, yeah. And I was like, how is it? And he's like, ugh. So. Well, yeah, it's like, it looks like the J.J. Abrams movies, but it's apparently not set in that timeline. It's supposed to be set in, like, the original trilogy timeline, and I'm like, why bother? Like, Mm. it's gonna look different. You have this divergent timeline now. Set it in that timeline. The Klingons... You already took the look of the Klingons from that show. Or from those movies. Like, they don't look like... I mean, they definitely don't look like the TOS Klingons. Well, like yeah. the, just some big eyebrows. Oh my gosh, they're and incredible. They, and they don't look like the TNG Klingons. Hmm. <coughs> oh dear. Mm, mm. Sorry. So, I'm like, why, why would you use the new Klingons? And, like, everything looks exactly like the abrams verse, but... It's you're setting it in the original channel. Just set it in its own thing, and then it can do its own thing, and you're not beholden to anything really. You can do whatever you want. I don't know. I I watched the first couple episodes. I've heard it gets better. I might go back to it, but at the same time, I was like, I don't. I would rather just rewatch Stranger Things again. Yeah. Well, I just I was watching that, and then also I was watching The Deuce. That was like my weekly show. Oh. Is it's the new show from the guy that did The Wire on HBO. It's fantastic. Yeah, I never saw the wire, but heard good things. It's it's one like it's like the gold standard of like good television. Oh wow! Is the wire? It's it's yeah. Okay, well, um, talking about gold standards. Oh, hold on. Oh well, no! I can segue better. I can do a better segue. Well, okay. I oh. saw Thor Ragnarok. Oh, that's right. Which is awesome, and you need to see it. And yeah, I won't. I won't. Seen it yet. I won't spoil anything for you, obviously. Thank you. Uh, and for any listeners out there who haven't seen it yet either, um, but it is a rollicking good time. <laughs> it is probably one of the funnest Marvel movies uh, in a long time, and it is easily the best Thor movie ever made. It, I think I tweeted that it was like the defibrillator that that <laughs> franchise needed because. The second one, ooh, does it suck? Yeah, I never watched that. Ooh, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Cool, cool. Uh, I'll give you some pointers that you need to know going into Thor Ragnarok. Um, Odin was banished, and Loki faked his death and is secretly pretending to be Odin. There you go. That's all you need to know. Oh, classic uh, Loki. Yeah, classic Loki. It's the best Thor movie ever. Uh, it's directed by Taika Waititi. He did a fantastic job. He's amazing in every way. Yeah. Um, it blows my mind that the guy that directed Eagle vs. Shark um, and like Hunt for the Wilder People and What We Do in the Shadows is is directing a, a $180 million Thor movie. 
but apparently it was a fantastic choice. It was a fantastic choice, and he plays the character Korg in the movie, which is like a big rock monster. Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's got this ridiculous New Zealand accent, and it's hilarious. And the entire movie is just, it, yeah, it's it's hilarious. It's probably it's easily one of the best Marvel movies ever made. I'd probably put it in like the best comic book movies ever made. Nice. Like we're talking like Avengers, Guardians one. Uh, I don't know if I like it better than I liked Guardians two yet because Guardians two was also great. Uh, but I think after a couple more viewings, it might. It might surpass Guardians 2 nice. on my list, but it's it's like, I don't want to say it's like better or worse than a movie like The Dark Knight, because obviously they're like totally like polar opposites. Like The Dark Knight is like the super like real grounded, gritty, gritty, um, like it's an amazing film. And then this is like hyper sensationalized technicolor comic book movie <laughs> which is also great because like com- that's what yeah. comic books are right like they were especially like when they first these characters first started being created like it was all larger than life bright colors ridiculous plots and and you know goofy science fiction stuff that just doesn't make any sense but it you know yeah, it was, and, and it was just supposed to be fun, like fun entertainment, and that's what this movie is. It's a hundred percent fun. Like I've heard, like, oh, it doesn't have like some of the emotional resonance that you know. I think that kind of failed, and I'm like, you know what? I don't care because <laughs> no, like because like I I like all the characters, and um, Jeff Goldblum is in it, and he's amazing. Yeah, and like it's like it's hilarious, and it's just so entertaining and so fun, and I just I love it. And also the music was great. It was done by the guy from Devo. Oh. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, something. Some mountain. Mountain Face. Mountain Face. Yeah, and I can't remember his name. But he he did the Wes Anderson movies, like some, and the, he did the the Rugrats theme song. Is that he played on a toy piano, which he bought at a Andre? No. 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 It begins with an M, I think. Was, is, that's not no okay. Anyways, yeah. No, okay. He bought the, he bought a toy piano to record the Rugrats theme song and then returned it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Which we learned in that soundtrack documentary. Um, yeah, ten out of ten. I want more wacky space adventures. <laughs> take take it things less seriously. Have some fun with it. Um. So, yeah, Hemsworth is hilarious. Uh, the Hulk. Thor fight was really good. Nice. But was it as good as the Hulk Thor fight that we just watched? Oh, yes. You think this was the first time that the Hulk and Thor have appeared on film together? Well, you'd be wrong. So wrong. Well, I guess technically they would have been in the Avengers movies together, too. Shit. They're um, fighting each other. Fighting each other. Or did they happen in the first Avengers? Yeah, no, that's yeah right. they did. Okay. Well, okay. well, look, in the 80s. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back in the 80s, they did a TV movie called The Incredible Hulk Returns, and it had Thor in it, and that's what we watched. Yep. When David Banner met Maggie Shaw, it was the love they'd both been looking for, but she didn't know his secret. She didn't know that his danger would become her danger. Their life together was threatened, and David Banner had been pushed too far. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. He's mean and green, and after six years, the Hulk will face his greatest challenge ever. Because this time, he's fighting for love. Bill Bigby and Lou Ferrigno are the Incredible Hulk. If the Incredible Hulk returns. I, I, I have a hard time reconciling how incredibly bad the movie was overall with how hard I laughed at certain moments. Oh, there's some great stuff in here, like no doubt. Um... I don't know, did you ever watch, the? like, have you ever seen the Incredible Hulk show? No, I haven't. Okay. I don't think so, at least. I, I'm pretty sure I've never seen a full episode of it. Like, I think I may have seen a couple episodes on, on t- TV, like, par- parts of them. I remember him fighting a bear <laughs> yeah. at one point, and it's like a real bear, and then he picks it up and throws it, but it's like, a, then it's an obviously like a fake bear Yeah. after after he does that. Um but yeah, so I'd never. This is the f- the most I've seen of the Lou Ferrigno, Bill Bixby Hulk movie show show. I guess it was a it was a TV show. Um, 
And so it's set like it's it's been two years since he's hulked out last, and he's when he was presumed dead. He's presumed dead, and he's like, he's going up by a Bruce fake Banner was presumed dead, not the Hulk. But David Banner, for whatever reason, he's called David Banner in this show. Well, no, it's I, by by the end, I think I finally got it that he his alias was David Banyan. Oh, is that what it is? And it's just people didn't pronounce his name very clearly until, like, near the very end where someone specifically said Dr. Banyan. And I was like, oh, that's his alias because Bruce Banner died and now he's David Banyan. And for some reason didn't decide to choose a much more different name than his real name. Just to Hmm. make it really confusing for us. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I thought they said David Banner in the... the Well, it sounded like it because they said Banyan. The theme song... At the beginning, like the the title sequence, yeah, maybe maybe not. they missed it up. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Look, it's not it's not the most accurate to the source. For all we material. know that was just a, a like typo in the script, <laughs> and then they just went with and, it. Yeah, and yeah, like that's oh, how we're not going to re-record it. It cost too much money. Yeah, um, yeah. So he's like living with a woman who is a, a doctor as well, and uh, I, I take it they have not made sweet sweet love to each other but boy howdy are they hinting at it oh yeah there was some real real bad like sexual innuendo flirtation scene yeah it's not that subtle no it's not that subtle at all it's very in your face but it's also it was also kind of cute yeah it's like if you were alone with the person that you loved making sexual innuendos you wouldn't necessarily try to be subtle about it no you know. Yeah, I guess not. I'm oh. so lonely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't relate. No, oh, sorry, man. Right. That's no, fine. It's fine. I got a scab on my knee. You want to just pick that off while you're at it, too? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so he's he's dead, but he's not dead because he's working at a lab with a like the same looks like the same gamma thing. Gamma gun. Well, I think he's been working on that for the last two years. Oh, he's been making another one? Making a, yeah. another one, yeah. Because it seems... To reverse the effects. Right, it's a gamma reversal pod. Um, he thinks that's gonna... Yeah, something about accelerating the decay rate of gamma radiation. Yeah, not important. Okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, Truly not important it, at all. When you really break it down, I can't believe you remembered that. Because uh, <laughs> it has nothing to do... With anything. anything. So anyways, he's hanging out in his lab, alone, as one does, when Mm -hmm. you're secretly going to blast yourself full of anti-protons or reverse the decay rate of your gamma problem to stop uh, turning into a green monster Mm -hmm. and speaking into a a dictaphone thing, dictation tape thing. Isn't it just called a tape recorder? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. A dictaphone? A dictaphone. I've heard that said before by... I'll take your word for it. By maybe me. Um, Dr. Blake uh, breaks into the lab while he's doing this. And uh, by climbing up a rope and sneaking in through a window. Yeah, he had a grappling hook. Yeah, a grappling hook. Um, which is not common for most medical doctors to have no, that. No, no. Um, Although he, was, he, did go, he did go mountain climbing. As he mm, that's true. He was on an, on an expedition uh, and stops him from de gamma radiifying himself because he's like, I got to just stop you right there. Let me tell you a story about this time I went hiking in Norway. <laughs> it's yeah. basically how it goes down. Yeah, essentially. Well, he's like, you are, you're, you're, you're uh, Bruce Banner, aren't you? You're not dead. Yeah, yeah cl- clearly you're not dead and you're my all time favorite scientist. And now that I know that, let me tell you my hiking story. <laughs> Did uh, and so then he tells a story about how he went hiking in Norway and went into this cave and found the, the tomb of Thor and picked up a very very tiny version of Mjolnir. Yeah, it was um, kind of puny. It was it was pretty it was pretty wimpy, um, and it looks even wimpier when you put it in the hands of gigantic bodybuilder Thor man. Yeah. Um, that so he tells a story about how he freed thor and i guess they're friends now but he can can control when he summons thor and he can banish thor 
Yeah. It's a weird thing because in the comics, I thought that like Donald Blake was the, uh, and I could be wrong. I haven't read that many old Thor comics. Um, the, he was like his like mild mannered like Clark Kent ego. Like Thor is who he really is. Yeah, but when you're used to blend into society, but yeah, he needs to blend Donald in. Blake. He's Donald Blake, mild mannered physician. And uh, then when he needs to, he summons his mighty hammer and turns himself into the mighty Thor. Uh, but this one, it's Donald Blake holds out a hammer and screams Odin. And then With Thor. Like, gratuitous amounts of reverb. So much time. reverb and just, yeah. And then Thor appears and, but Donald Blake is still there. Mm-hmm. And they're like friends. Kind of. Kind of. By the end, they're friends. Yeah. By the end, I was like, oh, man. Why didn't we get the Thor show? Right? This should have been this should have been a movie with, with those two. Yeah. A, Donald Blake's character, actually kind of funny at times. Bit of, mm-hmm. a, bit of a quirky dude. Um, and Thor is easily the best part of this Hulk movie. Yeah. Well, and there's, there's not that much Hulk in the Hulk movie. Not really, no. Like, there's like three scenes with... The Hulk, and the last one is the longest one. Uh, but like for their, or maybe there's four. I think there might have been four, but again, but the the middle two, much. the middle two are like a minute long. Yeah, like maybe maybe less. Not a lot happens in those. Uh, and so yeah, it's mostly the Thor show, which I'm fine with. And that was actually one of the weird parallels uh, that I. I drew to Thor Ragnarok is that uh, everyone is kind of pitching it as like the Planet Hulk movie because it like it kind of takes a lot from the Planet Hulk comics, but they can't make a Planet Hulk movie because they can't call it Planet Hulk because of rights. Okay. So then they're like, well, we'll just put it in a Thor movie and call it Thor, but it'll mostly be Planet Hulk. But it it is actually it is actually a Thor movie. With very little Hulk in it. And this is also a Thor movie with very little Hulk in it, but it's called Hulk. So it's kind of like a weird reversal thing that they did. Mm. Uh, also, two years since he last turned into the Hulk in Thor Ragnarok, uh, he's been the Hulk for two years. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. He spent two years as the Hulk. Oh, yeah, on this planet fighting in a, a glad- gladiatorial arena. That sucks. Which yeah. is the, the plot of Planet Hulk. Well, yeah. Because uh, I don't know if you remember Age of Ultron. He uh, he gets in the Quinjet and he's in stealth mode and he's flying away. And the Black Widow tries to like get him to turn it around. She's like, "We can't track you if you're in stealth mode. So just just uh, just need you to turn the turn the ship around and come back to us." And then he disappears. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So he ends up on the planet Sakar, which is this like junk planet. Basically, a planet where like surrounded by a bunch of black holes, and so it just like empties. Everything that gets sucked into black holes just kind of ends up on this planet. Oh, gross. Pretty cool. It's like the butt end of black holes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a giant black hole called uh, the Devil's Anus. Oh, yep. <laughs> that they fly, That's legit. That they fly through <laughs> uh, in order to get back to Asgard. Anyways, um, so I thought that was weird that uh, there was there more was Thor. There parallels. And there was those parallels and, and that it was more of a Thor movie than a... Hulk movie, but in the end, I think for the better. For the better, and they should have just committed to making it a Thor movie. Entertaining as shit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, I mean, I get why they called it The Incredible Hulk Returns, because you had to do, like, you know, there was the show, and then you bring it back. You can be like, hey, remember the show? Well, it's back, and now Thor is here. Yeah, legit. And we got to find an excuse to watch the next one, because they, they did two movies, uh, and one was with Thor, and the next one was with Daredevil. Hulk and Daredevil. Yeah, it's the trial of the Incredible Hulk. So Matt Murdock is his lawyer. Oh. And I'm really hoping that there's a scene where they're in court and the Hulk is in like this like really really tight suit. <laughs> it's just like a just like skin tight suit is like busting out. Oh, that'd be so funny. You're so just open. like I just like, like sitting there in like a chair that's too small for him. And, oh, it'd be so good. Big big people crammed into tiny things. That's that's your jam. That's it's 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 a thing that I find slightly hilarious. Um, but Thor's great. Um, 
He's uh, yeah, like like pause the movie because you're laughing too. Hard. Yeah, oh yeah, great. several times. I will insert a clip here of the greatest scene in the movie because if we were going to tell you about it, it just wouldn't it wouldn't do it justice. So I'll just insert the clip. What is it that you pound on my door with such insolence? Insolence? No, I I I. I I'm uh, looking for a man who I... You have found one. Uh, uh, yeah, but th this is a particular man. Oh, I am a particular man. Uh, named... Especially uh, about Benny. those I speak with. It's, uh, and I do not like your face. A D. You Benny. look like a rat-tailed Saxon to me or a thieving I Celt. So I, I just came up looking for this Banyan. <laughs> well, then you have found him, Mush Spine. I am Banyan. That was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah. So good. Uh... <laughs> but oh man like he he wears uggs in the movie yeah like, he, they're supposed to be like viking boots but no they, yeah they look like uggs they look like uggs and then he has like his like disguise where he looks like a weird surfer bum he's got this like brown hoodie and like braided he's got some braids in his hair and yeah. he just like looks yeah. like such a chill bro you know yeah for real he makes friends with a bunch of biker dudes Yes, there's an amazing montage where they go to a bar. And it's way like, too long. It's way montage, too long, and it doesn't. It's not important to the no, story you gotta in pad, any way. Pad the runtime. Yeah, I guess so. But it was also incredibly entertaining at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. that's why it's like, was how did I feel about this movie? I can't decide because like so much of it was so bad, and then so much of it was hilariously entertaining too. Oh yeah, so I, just, uh, I don't know what to think. Like he's always he's always thirsty. Every time he gets summoned. He was he was like like where where is bring, give me bring me a beverage <laughs> I am dying of thirst and hunger and then they then they go to the bar but it reminded me of the first Thor movie the Marvel one where he's like they like take Thor to the diner and he's like drinking coffee he's like mmm this beverage is good and he like smashes it on the ground he's like another <laughs> Yeah. It reminded me kind of of that. Legit. That's the kind of Thor that you want. Oh, yeah. The really brash, doesn't understand that our culture is not the same as ancient Viking culture. Yeah. That's always fun. That's the good stuff. Um, so, yeah, basically, what's the plot? Like, I know that, like, Thor and Hulk have to team up. Okay, to so, do something. So the plot, the plot of the movie is um, uh, Hulk works at this place where he's built a gamma ray. Yeah, and one of the dudes who works, I think, is the brother of one of the people who started the company. Yes, um, is a little turd and mm -hmm. hires some thugs to steal that gamma ray machine for ransom. Yes, okay. and. The thugs want they want to steal the machine and Doctor David Banyan, who is Bruce Banner, yeah, yeah. Um, so that they can sell him too, I guess, because he knows about the machine. He's the only one who can use it because he made sure of that. Yes. Um. So they're trying to steal and ransom this machine, and that's the plot. That's it. That's all that happens. Yeah. The only other notable thing is that they they steal the lady doctor because oh, yeah. they, for some reason or other, know that she's involved with Doctor Banyan. Yeah. They steal his. They steal his woman, and Thor is on a quest to bring her back. We will retrieve your woman. Yeah. Oh, that's that's good. <laughs> Everybody's like drinking an entire pitcher of beer. Like the clip that I posted, it's hilarious in in audio form, but it's even oh, funnier. We didn't, we didn't preface it. it visually, we you, didn't preface it. How stupid can we be? Oh uh, well, I'll I'll if I can find it, like a clip of it on YouTube or something, I'll try and tweet it out as well. Yeah, please, so that people can see it. He answers the door in only a towel, fresh from the shower. <laughs> yes, clutching an entire <laughs> pitcher of beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which he opened by stabbing the bottom of the cans with a knife <laughs> and squeezing into the pitcher. While uh, Donald Blake is like, uh, you can just... Oh, never mind. And he gives up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to explain the pull tab thing. It just doesn't oh, work. Easily the best scene in this whole movie. Yeah. Oh, um, just... 
laughed so hard and had to pause it when he answered the door in just the towel <laughs> and a pitcher of beer. And then we played it some more. And he's, oh, I'm looking for a man. You have found one. <laughs> and he just like just starts keeps drinking, drinking from the pitcher. Oh, and then had to pause it again. Oh. You have found one. <laughs> just. Oh, uh, it's so good. Oh, yes. Um, oh, Thor. Also, I don't know how well the weird Gamma Lab pays, but there is, <laughs> af- after he first hulks out, uh, and and goes running off into the night after he unhulks. There's always the classic like, oh Bruce Banner's naked, needs to get some clothes. You know, it's kind uh, of a classic, classic Hulk trait. Mm-hmm. And so he like steals some clothes off a clothing line, but then obviously he's not a bad guy, so he leaves some money. But he leaves a hundred dollar bill. Yep, on the he pays a hundred bucks for a plaid shirt. He didn't even like get unripped pants he just took a plaid shirt it was it button up mm-hmm. and like i don't know how money worked in the 80s or like if things costed more but i don't think that's how inflation really works <laughs> one might say it's the opposite yeah my limited knowledge of economics tells me uh <laughs> that it is in fact the opposite there you go um do you want to talk about the slow-mo you hated the slow-mo oh my freaking goodness this so... is this was your cross to bear while watching this yeah i could barely stand it i had to just exclaim several times so the majority of the shots of the hulk hulking out are just in a terrible Mm slow-mo this is the 80s i don't did they have smooth slow-mo back then it was all very choppy in this well you could fast to make it look better like when you shoot on film you could like um oh my god what the fuck is happening out there Garbage truck? I think a plane is landing yeah. on the road. No, that's, a that's a garbage coming? truck. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, in the ASO to achieve, you could do what's called overcranking. So you're shooting more frames than you oh, need, yeah, and then yeah. when you play it back, and you slow it down, there are more frames to actually. Yeah, make it so smooth. it's a lot smoother. But then if you don't uh, do that, then you do what's called optical slow mo, where you create the f- more frames by like duplicating some of them mm. you, you do that after the fact so you shoot it normally and then after the fact you, you you do an optical process that that would create more frames um which is kind of what happens when you slow down you know same with digital footage right when you slow it down um it'll those frames will last longer than a second right yeah. or, or longer than one twenty fourth of a second right yeah, i know what you mean yeah <coughs> so, uh, so I'm guessing they did the optical process because it, it looks real bad. It's so bad. And once you pointed it out, I, I started counting and I counted about seven shots of the Hulk that weren't in slow motion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, well this is this is what this is what And it was so usually bad. when he was in shots with other people. Yeah, exactly. That's the that's the thing. Like <laughs> there's shots of him in slow mo. And then shots of people watching him in slow mo that aren't in slow mo, and that bothers me so much. Where it's like, you know, you got um, whatever weasel face Donald Blake and uh, and the Thor are watching him hulk out for the first time, not in slow mo, and then there he is hulking out and flexing his muscles in slow mo, and then it cuts back to them, and they're not in slow mo, and what does this troll, you know? And, oh yeah, he keeps calling him a troll. That's good. Which is adorable. Yeah, that's cute. Like we'd. Stand a better chance if you brought out that troll of yours, <laughs> Banner. Yeah, and then just like, it'll be like, you know, like over the shoulder shots of someone looking at um, the Hulk, and it'll be in slow motion because it's of the Hulk. But then it'll be over the shoulder shots looking at the other person. Yeah, over, you can over still the Hulk's shoulder. You can clearly see the Hulk. Yeah. And sometimes it's not over the shoulder, it's just behind him. Yeah. But it's not in slow motion now. Yeah. When it could have been. Like, at the very end, when he's, like, bending the pipe and, like, wrapping it around the dude, like, him bending the pipe is in slow motion. He's, like, walking towards the dude. That's in regular motion. Yeah. And then I think him hanging him on the... I can't remember if him hanging him on the wall was slow-mo or not. I think that might have been regular motion. I can't remember. It was just terrible and it's inconsistent. Pretty, it's pretty it just bad. bothered me so much. Like, like usually I'm not such a huge stickler for, for visual stuff like that. I'm usually more into, like, the, yeah. how bad the sound is, because it was pretty bad in this movie. Yeah, and, sound wasn't great. But just, <laughs> oh, I could not stand that. This terrible, terrible, terrible slow-mo. Yeah. Just awful. And Thor, 
he doesn't really use any of his Thor powers ever. Like, he has a hammer, and sometimes he, like, smashes it into someone's gut, but never, like, swinging it. Like, it's always, like, a kind of like a punch, like yeah, a hammer punch. Jabs with it. Jabs it, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And, like, a little bit of lightning comes out of them, yeah. out of the hammer, but he never does any, you know, brings down any lightning. I guess it'd be really expensive to do. Like, he never flies with his hammer. Yeah. Or spins it. He throws it once. But we don't even see him, like, pull it back <laughs> with his magic powers. Yeah, that's the truth. Like, there was one part where he was like, give me the hammer, Blake. And I'm like, can't you just call it back to you? Because yeah. it's Mjolnir, because it'll always come back to him, yeah. no matter what. Oh, that was the other thing that bugged me. There's uh, uh, the scene where he's like, uh, Blake is, like, telling him the story. Uh, he's like, look inside the bag, pull it out. And he just and uh, Banner just reaches in and just pulls out Mjolnir. I'm like, yeah. nah. Nah, not, Hell not. Not how that works. You can't pick up Mjolnir. No You're not can. worthy. Yeah. You're not worthy of Thor. This to me says that Bruce Banner could rule Asgard one day. Yep. Which he clearly can't because he can't even unhulk himself. How yeah. is he going to run? How is he going to be the protector <laughs> of the nine realms when he has like an attitude problem? Like yeah. That? As dumb as this movie was, I definitely expected him to not be able to take it out of the bag. At the same time, am I surprised that no one involved with this movie ever read any of the comics <laughs> no not at all like it, it kind of feels like they called up marvel and like so what's the deal with with the hulk it's like well he is dr bruce banner and he gets blasted by gamma rays turns into the hulk isn't he fabulous yeah he's wrecking the town power of bull blah 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 <laughs> ever loving hulk <laughs> like cool click all right so david <laughs> banner uh <laughs> <laughs> immediately fucks it up. Yeah. Like, get off the phone with Stan Lee and just immediately fuck everything up. Right? David Banner, and he's making... And he's the Hulk. He shoots gamma rays at himself. And he gets mad, and he turns it to the Hulk. Okay, great. And we can make a show out of this. And then they did the same thing. Like, we're going to bring Thor into it. So what's the deal with Thor? It's like, well, mild-mannered Dr. Donald Blake uh, finds, you know... Or is, you know, the secret... Thing and he has the hammer, and whoever's worthy of the hammer can obtain the power of Thor. And he becomes, he's Thor. He, you know, raises his hammer and says Odin. He turns into Thor. And like, all right, and uh, was he? He's just he's the god of thunder. It's like, yeah, yeah. And he swings the hammer at people. Yeah, okay, great. Click. It's like, well, wait, no. He can also like spin it real fast and fly. And he can call down lightning. And you hung up already. Boop, click. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yeah. It's like, who was that? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no preface for that conversation. <laughs> it was Marvel in the 80s. They weren't doing so well. People just ring him up and like, tell me about Thor. Like, well, okay, I got nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, they probably needed to sell the rights to Thor to, like, help keep the company afloat at that time. Probably. Like, you want to do a Thor TV movie? It's like, no, Hulk TV movie with Thor. And it's like, whatever, sure. Give us, <laughs> look, we need 400 bucks to pay the rent this month, all right? Can you give us 400 so, yeah, so then they're like, all right, so uh, Donald Blake finds the hammer and conjures Thor, Thor and yeah. they're friends. And he's a surfer dude. <laughs> and he's a surfer dude and he's, he's friends and he punches people with his lightning hammer. Yeah, we go. Great. <laughs> Done. Print. Yeah. Is it weird? Awful. Is it weird to you, though, that, like, the Hulk was the, the guy that got his own show? Like, out of all the Marvel characters... Like, I know, I think there was, like, a Japanese, like, Spider-Man show. I I seem to recall there being, like, some really, really bad Spider-Man show from the 70s. I think it was Japanese. I don't know that. And they may have, like, they may have, like, Godzilla'd it to where they just, like, put some white people in it and, like, use the footage, like, Power Rangers, then Power Rangers did it uh, for, like, American audience. I don't want to look that up. Cut some episodes together. I've I've never seen it, but I've, I've heard of its existence, and I think I've seen photos of the suit. It's real bad. Yikes. But, like, of all the characters, like, there was the Batman show in the 60s. Which was amazing. Which was amazing. And then in the 70s, it was the Hulk and Wonder Woman. Hmm. And that was, like, the, that was like your superhero power hour was the Hulk and Wonder Woman were on TV. Like, no Captain America, no Superman, uh, you know, uh, what, like, I guess Iron Man was a B-rate player. There's no Spider-Man. Uh, you know, it was just it was the Hulk. 
Yeah, I wonder how that did. And start. I feel like the only reason that people really know of the Hulk today is because like of the show. Like that's how it kind of became ingrained in the culture. Hmm. Like a pop culture. I mean, I don't I don't know because I like I don't read a lot of Hulk comics. Fair. Like I started I reread Planet Hulk recently because I was prepping for Thor Ragnarok and that's an awesome comic, but I have a couple other Hulk comics that I've read and I'm just like I'm not I'm not super into it. I like I like comics that have Hulk in them. Like when you, like I have you know some Iron Man comics where like him and Tony Stark team up and do things and other things like that and other like Avengers comics obviously. But he's yeah, it's, it's weird that he was the one that got a show. And same with Wonder Woman, because I, I mean I, well, Wonder Woman's a good character, but yeah, I, I gotta wonder how that started. Like Superman and Batman, I would put like in terms of like popularity. Oh yeah, like, put them up there, and I guess when was Lois and Clark? That was eighties, early nineties. Uh, might have been early nineties. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Super weird. I didn't. I never seen that show either. Yeah, super weird to me that, that those were the ones that got. And clearly, from watching live this movie, shows. it should have been Thor that got his own show, yes. like for after, real. Especially like after this, they should have just taken those two guys, Thor and 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 Donald Blake, and like done like they're the original odd couple. Like you, could do, <laughs> you like you could totally do like a wacky comedy, easy. Yeah, it's still you know fun action show, but just have it be like. They're getting themselves into crazy situations. <laughs> and then it's like, like I would watch an episode where they just go to a biker bar and end up getting in a fight. And yeah. Like, that's the whole episode. That would have been so good. But no, they wrecked it. Would've been, would've but been then they brought it back because they brought Hulk and Thor back in Ragnarok and it's great again. Yay. And there's some, some choice, some choice stuff in that movie. Looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Is it as good as this? No. Nothing no. is as good as... Is it significantly jokes? better? In many ways, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a scene in Thor Ragnarok that I would laugh as hard at, though, as I did with the <laughs> Thor answering the door in a towel scene from this with movie, though. I, like, I will give it that. Like, it is, it is a hilarious movie, obviously. Taika Waititi is a very funny man. <laughs> And and Hemsworth has great comedic timing, and and Jeff Goldblum is a walking joke, uh, <laughs> but I don't think there's anything in that movie that I would would bust a gut at. I mean, I didn't obviously in the theater, but like that, yeah. So maybe it wins for best joke. Foreign towel with the pitcher of beer. It's so funny! It's so funny. What is it that you pound on my door with, with such, such insolence? insolence. <laughs> oh. well, actually, I'm looking for a man. Well, you have found one. <laughs> uh, I can't get over it. I just uh, want to watch that scene again. Yeah, it's, it's magic. It's magical. Oh, it made this entire wonder, day worth I, it. I gotta wonder if mm. the people that made Thor Ragnarok... Watched this? Watched this or, like, knew about it? Like, oh, I wonder. You gotta wonder if the people at Marvel are like, oh, we're gonna put Hulk and Thor in their own movie and it's gonna be great. No one's ever done that before. And then, like, some, like, super nerdy intern's like, um, well, actually, <laughs> uh, and, like, hands them the DVD and they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> I hope so. That would be so good. I, I sincerely hope that that was the case. I did, I did see someone on Twitter tweeting, like, oh, well, I'm not gonna have time to... Or all the all the Thor Ragnarok uh, screenings tonight were sold out, so I guess I'll watch this. It's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the, uh, this movie, but uh, yeah, uh, do you want anything else you have to add? I think I got I've gone through everything I noted. Did we talk about Tiny Mjolnir? We did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. This is sad. So. Oh, um, uh, the guy. Uh, one one quick thing. The guy that plays Thor uh, is Little John from. Oops. Is Little John from Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yeah. Which, Which is also fantastic. Oh, and there was one point where uh, the guy says, like, oh, yeah, they're at this warehouse. It's in Ontario. And we got super stoked because we're like, oh, shit, it's in Ontario? Like, they're going to Canada? That's great. And then Which the, seems weird because the base yeah. is all the way in Canada. All over, That's far away, isn't it? Yeah. And, like, they're in L.A. and they're going to Ontario. So it's, like, the opposite side of the continent. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I bet you there's an Ontario, California. So I looked it up, and there is an Ontario, California, 
and there's an Ontario in Illinois, and an Ontarioville in Illinois, mm. and then there's also an Ontario in Indiana, uh, Iowa, New York, uh, Ontario County in New York, Ontario, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Wisconsin. This is so many. So, so many. So where, where did Ontario come from again? Oh, and there's one in Belize, apparently. Oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, I thought it was a name of like, like a an explorer or something. Oh, I thought maybe it was like an a, a, like an uh, Aboriginal word. Ontario. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I guess it's possible. It doesn't sound I like mean, it, but maybe it's just. I mean, Algonquin also is a weird sounding word, but that's a name of an entire nation of people. Yeah. In Ontario. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I assumed it was a, it was like a most of those like you know Saskatchewan Manitoba uh, Ontario I assumed that they were all Aboriginal it would make words sense. or inspired I feel like we should know now I feel bad that I don't yeah know. I'm gonna have to look it up after this oh jeez we're not we're bad Canadians okay. Actually, you know what? I bet you there's somebody. No one knows. I bet you most of the people who live in Ontario don't know. So, chances are. Yeah, Ontario public school system failing us once again. We have to be better. We have to be better every day. I wake up thinking I need to be better than the, than the Ontario <laughs> public school system. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think that's everything in my notes. Do you have anything else that you needed to get off your chest? Uh, well, I mean, about like this movie, or just I think general? I think just the the way that this adventure of watching a movie started for us as viewers was with the main menu, <laughs> in which Ooh. there's like some some intense music and a scene of Hulk, like the montage of his clothes splitting open and him busting out and then like flexing and rah, and then it like looks like it's going for an iris out and then it freezes on a very ugly freeze frame of his face it's contorted not, like he's on good. the can like like real bad hemorrhoids kind of face and the music builds up stops and then the rest of the time we're on the menu it's just looping this sad dramatic like soap opera piano music yeah like na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. yeah and it's it should be played over like we were making jokes about it. It should be like, Johnny, I'm pregnant, but Deborah, you can't be pregnant. You're my sister and my cousin, and you died two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like crap soap opera soundtrack <laughs> nonsense, and it's just like, yeah, that that's what plays on the menu for this movie, and. That that song only comes in at the very, very end where Bruce Banner has to leave his woman. For some reason. For some reason. Do they explain it? Well, he there's was... a great scene where... So after they stop the bad guys... Mm-hmm. And rescue the woman. Yeah, by Thor throwing his hammer into a car, causing it to fly into the air. Still going forward, though. Still going forward, even though the hammer hit it in the front of the car. Yep. It's very stupid. Like most things in the film, yeah, uh, where uh, they're just chilling on the oh, D- David uh, or Bruce Banner and his woman live on a, a beach house, like on the beach. So Thor is just like running on the beach with this golden retriever, and they're like they got their friends now. And then uh, uh, Donald Blake is like on an exercise bike, just yep. on the on the porch. And then Banner comes out and he's like, "Hey, thanks for helping me move out of my apartment and into this beach home." Thinking like, oh, they're going to live happily ever after. And then he's like, yep, yeah, well, I guess I should call the big guy back. And in the meantime, he's talking to this woman in uh, like a bikini. And he's like, well, she's very pretty. He won't like that. <laughs> and, then, oh, yeah. and then the, you know, calls Thor back and they go off on their own adventure, which unfortunately we will never see because there is no Thor show. I know. I looked it up. I looked it up. I was like, there has to be. So sad. Even if it was like a show that got canceled after six episodes, I would relish those six episodes. Yeah, of course. What a missed opportunity. Such a complete and utter failure. Wasn't there also a Flash show in the 80s? Not important. Um, <laughs> I think there was, though. I think uh, so, too. And then the next scene is like 
Bruce Banner, like, all right, and I gotta leave now, sweetie. It was like the next morning. Like, yeah, they do have night beach fire where he's like cup in a field. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, his hand is placed very inappropriately. Like you can't quite see Aura. his hand very appropriately, it's depending on what they're about to do. Blocked by her arm, mm-hmm. but it's very obvious where it is. Oh yeah, he's, and presumably they—he's grabbing some booby. Had passionate Hulk sex that night. I yeah, I would assume so. I don't know what the rules are in this Hulk verse, but in the Edward Norton uh, Incredible Hulk movie, uh, it's it's not it's not anger. It's like his is like heart rate, elevated heart rate. Mm-hmm. Is what makes it so. There's like yeah, a they, scene. they make it um, more of a biological response than an emotional one. Yeah, it's like him and because that's not how science works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, also the Hulk isn't real, but <laughs> uh, wait, what? Yeah, sorry, sorry to have to tell you this way. We weren't just watching a documentary. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it wasn't a documentary. A documentary. Uh, <laughs> Aluminium. But yeah, like him and Betty Ross are making out. On a bed, and then he's got like a heart rate monitor watch, and it starts going like boop, 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 boop. And he's like, Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Can't get too excited. He's like, Really? Like, not, not even a little excited? So I don't know. I guess, I guess that doesn't, that doesn't apply to Dr. David Bruce Banner Banyan. In this one, I guess he can make passionate sex to his woman and not have it be, uh, <clears throat> not have it be a Hulk issue. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. I mean, because that sucks for Norton. Big time. And I guess I guess also... Uh, for everyone what, involved. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of the guy that plays him now, though? Because they recast for the Avengers. Uh, uh, Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Is that his name? Yeah. Mark Ruffalo. He plays... There's too many Marks. I get them all confused. Dude, do you think there's too many Marks? There's too many Chris's, man. Oh, there's so many Chris's. Evans, Hemsworth, Pine, Pratt. Well, the Pratt, I never get confused with anyone else. Uh, he seems like a stone. O'Dowd. Guy. I want to like, I want to hug Chris Pratt. You know. Yeah, yeah. He just yeah. seems like a really huggable guy. Yeah. Oh, totally. He'd be down for a hug. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, this movie is uh, interesting. It's one way of putting it. It's. Uh, I oh. still. Uh, uh, do you want to? There's no uh, Rotten Tomatoes score for this. Um, but, so I got the IMDB, so, uh, so it's out of 10. Yeah, so IMDB out of 10? Yeah. Uh, so, like, something point something. Oh, okay. Out of, out of 10. Is it, like, a 3.7? Uh, no, it's a little higher than that. Think, if you're thinking, like, Rotten Tomatoes, IMDB score is generally a little bit higher than... A little more forgiving. Yeah, well, it's just the way the algorithm works. Uh, oh, okay. With... Rotten Tomatoes and versus. It's like four point seven. Uh, that's five point eight. Five point eight. Yeah, so not not bad. Okay. Well, okay. Sure. So not, well, yeah. No, not it, terrible. I might I might give it a good rating just for that one scene of Thor. That's the thing that's um really yeah pushing me over the edge of saying I I I'm gonna say that it's craptacular. It's craptacular. I'm with you on that one. Is there certainly not good, but it's also there's no way that I can say a movie that has that scene in it could be bad. Yeah. So it it is it is craptacular. I think for me. I think a decent gauge for me is is like would I would I actually watch it again? Mm. And the answer is yeah, I would. Yeah. If no. we had a movie night and we wanted to watch something dumb. Well, oh, this I would is throw this, this on is a we total like we laughs. we got to show this to our friends just yeah. for that scene. We're like, you guys need to understand how amazing that is. This, yeah, Ugh. I I think it's a better Thor movie than the Thor: The Dark World, <laughs> and it's and it's a Hulk movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yikes. Yeah, Thor: The Dark World sucks. Well, there we go. The Incredible Hulk returns. A craptacular flick. Yeah. He only returns occasionally, though. Like Very three, occasionally. Three or, three or four times, maybe. But you don't miss him. Not that often. You don't, because Thor is so charming and great, and he has a witty repartee with Donald Blake. Mm-hmm. I always forget his, his mild-mannered alter ego's name. That's because it's not illiterary. So, yeah. Peter Parker. Bruce Banner. Betty Brandt. J. Jonah Jameson. That's my favorite one. 
Dum Dum Dugan. I don't remember that one. Hulk either. Hogan. Yeah. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Bruce Banner. Captain America. Tony Stark. <laughs> okay. I think we're done. <laughs> Otto Octavius. I thought we were done. <laughs> but Otto Octavius is great. It's true. Because he gets eight arms and he becomes Dr. Octopus. And it happened to the most perfect guy. Because he's this is already basically his name. Octavius? Great. Good stuff. So, what, are, what are the chances? <clears throat> Really, really, <laughs> really slim. Uh, so yeah, that that was that. And next month we got a special surprise. I don't want to ruin it on the podcast. Um, save it. We'll save it. Save the surprise because it, it is going to be choice. It's going to be great to listen to afterwards. I don't know if it's going to be great for us to experience. No, it's going to be a hellish hand. nightmare for us to experience. Yeah. We already know it, but it just has to be done. It has to be done. Yeah. It has to be done. It's out of our hands. It's maybe the worst thing that's on this planet. Yeah. Entertainment-wise, obviously, there's some horrible things that exist. Well, yeah. Yeah. But so anyways, we're... you want to keep up to date on that. We're also going to do a, a Patreon-exclusive thing that's happening. Mm. Official. We can announce that. Do you want to announce that? If we announce it, then we have to do it. Right. <laughs> Let's commit. Let's, It'll yeah. hold us to it. Uh, we're going to do a commentary track for The Phantom Menace. Yep. Uh, it's going to be the $3 tier on Patreon. You'll be able to get access to that. Uh, so, yeah, check that out. It's uh, it's going to be a good time, I think. Oh, yeah. I, it's It's been long enough. I haven't seen it in, in a... About a year or so, probably maybe a little over a year. Well, it's been longer for me for sure. I rewatched when when uh, Force Awakens came out. I watched a Star Wars movie a month in anticipation. Right, yeah. So I started with the Phantom Menace. So that would have been September, August, July, June. I started in June. I watched uh, that one, and uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, good, looking good, forward to it. It'll be a, that'll be a fun commentary. It'll be track. entertaining. So, uh, yeah. Uh, until then, uh, thank you for listening to us. And you can find us uh, everywhere on Twitter, Patreon, uh, Gmail, at RetroCrapPod. Uh, we are on iTunes, Google Play, iHeartRadio, YouTube, Anywhere you want to listen to your podcast, all your favorite podcasting apps, they're there if you don't mind. If you like the show, give us a, a little rating, a, a thumbs up, little stars out of five or whatever. Write a little mini review, and uh, that helps us actually. It helps us a lot, uh, getting more people to find the show. Also, just tell a friend. If you have a friend that you think would enjoy the show, just be like, hey man, shove this in your ears, and then hand them some earbuds. Don't don't like force it on them, but just because that's just not nice. Yeah, but just like you'll you'll get down to this. Maybe maybe phrase it better. <laughs> you, this is your your jam. That's good. And then they'll that's be better. expecting a tasty jam, but it's just us talking. Me with my sick. <laughs> well, it'll it'll start with raspy the, the, the cheesy intro music. Oh yeah. And people are like, oh, this is my jam. And then I'll come and be like, hey, welcome to the Retro Craptacular Podcast. Makes it will sound all sick and gross. Yeah, I'll be like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen to a man slowly die over the course of an hour. <laughs> oh. mm. What a what a way to go. Podcasting yeah. to death, um, <laughs> and, uh, and I think uh, I think that's everything. I think I hit everything. Well, if you want, if you want to throw a couple shekels our way, you can do so on Patreon. We already explained we have that. We're doing our exclusive uh, commentary track for that, so that helps out a lot. Obviously, mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. helps keep the cost of the. I don't know if you know this, but podcast that ain't free. I mean, you can do it for free, but we. We like to have, you know, graphics and metrics and other data. Netics. We want to know where we want to know where you lovely people are listening from. And thanks to uh, the age of the internet, uh, there's no anonymity anymore, and we know where you all come from. So, shout out to everyone who listens to the show. All of our listeners in uh, Pennsylvania, keep oh. it classy. Yeah. 
Oh, if, but if there are up. people in, pa- in Pennsylvania, this is going to blow their minds. Cool. Yeah, listeners in Pennsylvania. Yeah. We know where you live. Also, uh, just a shout out to uh, Jared. Thanks for listening, Jared. Yeah, Jared. Again, I don't know. Long time it, listener. No, I'm a, just, I'm buying, I'm just, I'm yeah. in it now. I'm no, but it. if there's a Jared listening, his mind was just blown. He was just kind of doing whatever, has a podcast going in the background. All of a sudden, shout out to Jared. He's like, holy shit, that's me. And that was ruined immediately because we said this. Yeah. We don't actually care about you, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's this, you know, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're, you're an all right, all right guy, I guess. If you are Jared and you're listening to this show, <laughs> email in retrocrappod at gmail.com. We'll love to hear from you. Uh, and, oh, this is, I'm really sick. <laughs> My brain is melting. All right. Uh, Keep watching crap. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Ugh. Okay. It's the perfect time to be doing this. Yep. Who's healthy? No one in this room. Not even that dog. <laughs> mm. That'll happen a lot. Oh dear. Pretty sure that was a peak. Oh uh, yeah, probably. Oh, girl. <laughs>